Hey, what's up, everybody? Just wanted to put another video out there with uh, some of the updates and most current news on Team RGBA. Uh, thanks to all uh, the people that put uh, content out there to cover Team RGBA. Uh, the people that come to mind are Ellie at, from Ellie Setback from ES News, um, Rainbow Alexander that goes by TS by Rainbow on Instagram, Frantic One, which is working as their chef right now, and uh, the official photographer for Team RGBA is uh, at Cumbia underscore. So I have the uh, fighters listed by um, by their records. So uh, I start off with Mikey Garcia, 39-1. He just suffered his first loss against Errol Spence. Uh, March 16th, he was moving up to 147 for the first time. <clears throat> uh, they did do very well at the gate. They had 47,500 fans show up at the gate, and it sounds like uh, the latest number for pay-per-view views is uh, 360,000. So originally they came out with something like 300, and then uh, that it was going to be closer to 400. So the latest number that I've heard uh, is 360. If you want to follow Mikey Garcia, he's at Team Mikey Garcia on Instagram. It's also on Twitter as well. Abner Mares, 31-3-1, uh, had to pull out of his fight against uh, Gervonta Tank Davis um, because of a detached retina. He uh, He's very active on his Instagram. He just posted a picture yesterday uh, with his eye looking, looking a little bit swollen, a little bit reddish. If you want to follow Abner Mares, he's at Abner Mares Official. Jose Cito Lopez, 36-8 from Riverside. Um, had a, his last fight was in January versus Keith One Time Thurman. Uh, the Big G, uh, Robert's dad, says he wants nothing but big fights from now on for Josecito. If you want to follow him, he's at Jose Lopez. Jose Carlos Ramirez, the WBC champion at 140. He is an Olympian from 2012. 24 and 0, 16 knockouts. He is uh, managed and promoted by Top Rank and Rick Marigian. Rick's uh, IG is promoter559. He's very active on Instagram if you want to follow him. And if you want to follow Jose Carlos Ramirez, he's at JC Ramirez 2012. Brandon Bam Bam Rios, 35 5 and 1. He's unofficially retired. Uh, he, his last fight was, in, I believe, in February, February 23rd in Tijuana, Baja California. Um, uh, if it's that's true, then his record ends at 35 5 and 1. If you want to follow him, he's at Brandon Rios 1. Esquiva Falcao just fought in Brazil last Sunday. Um, it sounds like it was at some level a championship fight. Um, his opponent was 56 and 17, Argentinian boxer. Um, if you want to follow Esquiva Falcao, he's at Esquiva Falcao. Eric De Leon, 19 0 and 1, just, uh, just uh, got his first fight back after uh, suffering a rotator cuff injury uh, in Costa Mesa. He fought. Uh, he got knocked down in the fifth, but it sounds like he stopped his, his fighter in the seventh. So um, that's very good news for Eric DeLeon. He's very active on Twitter as well um, and on Instagram. If you want to follow him, he's at Team DeLeon1. He's from Detroit, Michigan, fights at RGBA Riverside. Joshua El Profesor Franco just announced that, his, that he's going to have a fight uh, April 25th, 2019. He had to pull out of his uh, January fight in Houston. Uh, I think he had an injury, but now he's scheduled to fight um, in India at Fantasy Springs Casino. He's a Golden Boy uh, promoted fighter, and he's going to get that rematch versus Oscar Negrete, which he had a draw to last year. So if you want to follow him, he's at one Professor Franco. Professor Franco. At one Professor Franco. Uh, stable mate of his, Hector Tanahara, also from San Antonio, Texas, 17 and 05 knockouts. Uh, just. Won the WBC youth title versus Ivan Stryker Delgado uh, uh, in Tijuana along with Brandon Bam Bam Rios and Alexis Espino. So he improves to 17 0. He, like I mentioned, he's a Golden Boy uh, promoted fighter. And if you want to follow him, he's at Hector underscore Tanahara. Jonathan Thunder Navarro, 16 0, 8 knockouts. No updates on him. He's from East LA, also promoted by Golden Boy. If you want to follow him, he's at Jonathan Navarro underscore 16. Carlos Lincona has been seen in the gym. Uh, I saw a picture of him in the gym on Instagram. Uh, he suffered his first loss. 
So he lost his IBF strap, and I believe it's the uh, WBO strap, the Latino belt as well, that you see him, that burgundy color one. So uh, there's no news on a fight date for him, but if you want to follow him, he's at Mexicanito12 on Instagram. Virgil Ortiz, 12 and 0, 12 knockouts. He is uh, unofficially on the uh, Cinco de Mayo card for Canelo on the DAZN app, and it sounds like his opponent might be Mauricio Herrera. I've heard it from a couple of resources, uh, but they're not releasing that name as of yet. So if you want to follow him, he's at Virgil Ortiz. Uh, his dad is also very active on social media, who is his trainer. Uh, he is trained by not only Robert, but by his dad, Virgil Ortiz Sr., and then also by Hector Beltran, who helps him with strength and conditioning. So Virgil Ortiz, one of the hottest, uh, I wouldn't even call him a prospect anymore. I would call him more like a contender. He is uh, a contender from RGBA Riverside. Joseph Adorno fought uh, a couple Sundays ago, March 17th. He had a six-round unanimous decision at the... Uh, that's an old picture. That's not from his fight from, from March 17th. Uh, but there you see Robert in his corner. Then you, see, I believe that's his dad on the right-hand side. If you want to follow him, he's at Real Joseph Odorno. John El Terrible Bausa also fought on that same night, March 17th. Also got a six-round unanimous decision at Madison Square Garden. If you want to follow him, he's at Real John Bausa. And then not officially with Team RGBA, but he has had three camps there uh, sparring different different opponents from RGBA uh, and he uh, uh, improved to 15-1-0 and, oh, and that's uh, real jo Josue Vargas. I, his nickname is The Prodigy. He used to be with TMT. I believe now he's with Top Rank. So um, I think he lives in Riverside so he has the opportunity. This is his third camp that he that he, uh, that he uh, trains with at RGBA. He also trains out of New York as well. So if you're interested in him, he's at Real Josue Vargas. Robert happened to be in his corner as well. Luis Coria improves to 11-2-0. He had a second round knockout on uh, the night of Garcia versus Spence. He is scheduled to fight on May 18th on the Prospects Collide 2.0. Uh, 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 it's news to me, but uh, the date moved from April 26th to May 18th. I don't know when that officially happened, but I put out a tweet yesterday and Somebody corrected me that the date has changed. So thank you to Ozzy on Twitter. And he um, he let me know that that was the uh, incorrect date. So thank you to Ozzy. If you want to follow Louis, he's at KingLouis416. Alejandro Porkchop Guerrero, he fought. He was the main event to the um, Garcia Promotions event held at uh, Irving at the Southern Junction nightclub the night before uh, Mikey fought Errol Spence. And he had a fourth round. Uh, TKO, and he improves to 10 and 0 with nine with nine knockouts. He is uh, from Dallas, from Irving, and uh, he is, he fights under the banner of Mikey Garcia Promotions. So if you want to follow him, at Porkchop underscore two one four. Misael Chino Rodriguez sounds like he's going to be the main event for Prospects Collide 2.0 in San Bernardino. He is uh, he is promoted by Ring Stars by Richard Schaefer's Ring Star Sports. He goes by El Chino. If you want to follow him, he is at Misael Ote. Jesse Bam Rodriguez also improves to 9-0 and with five knockouts. He fought on the uh, undercard for Mikey Garcia versus Errol Spence with third round TKO. His opponent, Rauf, was 26-6. and So uh, he's getting uh, some, some more seasoned um, opponents now. There you see him on the left. To that picture, I uh, give credit to Cumbia on this picture, uh, his dad, and then you also see Malena, uh, Robert's cousin, and in the and in the hat with the red lettering is Hector Tanahara's dad. So if you want to follow Bam Rodriguez, he's at 210 Bam. Lindolfo Delgado improves to 9 0 with nine knockouts. Here you see him with the big G and with Chepe Contreras, a uh, trainer at RGBA. Also, photo credit to Cumbia. I posted it on his, I have it posted on the on, on the picture. He had a first round knockout. It was scheduled for eight, but he got a first, took care of it in the first round. So if you want to follow him, he's at Lindolfo Delgado. Genaro El Conde Gámez, 8 and 05 knockouts, had to pull out of a fight uh, in February, which allowed Hector Tanahara to fight Ivan Delgado the following week. 
So um, it sounds like he's going to be moving to 140. This is a uh, San Diego native, trains in San Diego. And if you want to follow him, he's at Genaro Gomez. Brandon Bulletproof Glenn, 10, 8 and 0, 7 knockouts. Uh, he fought on the undercard for Keith One Time Thurman. He is uh, Atlanta. He is a fighter from Atlanta. Sounds like he's been born and raised in Atlanta. And um, fights also under the banner of Mikey Garcia. If you want to follow him, he's at Team Bulletproof on Instagram. Manuel Flores, I don't think officially he's part of Team RGBA, but I thought it'd be interesting to. I thought it. I thought I'd put him in on the list uh, as he gives a lot of the Team RGBA fighters sparring. Here you see him in a picture with Abner Mars as Midas was training to fight Gervonta Tank Davis, who happens to be a southpaw. So uh, if you want to follow him, he's at Gucci Manny on Instagram. Isidro Ochoa is currently at RGBA in Riverside training. He uh, fought on the undercard of Jose Carlos Ramirez February 10th. So... Um, He's gearing up um, for a fight, so no announcement on an official date. Or, actually, there's a new fight date for him as of May 4th. He's on top rank card in Stockton, California. So look out for Isidro Ochoa. If you want to follow him, he's on Instagram, at IGO underscore Ochoa, at Ego underscore Ochoa. Aaron Morales, also on the uh, Mikey Garcia versus Errol Spence. Fight card improves to 6-0 with three knockouts. <clears throat> He was the most active fighter of Team RGBA in 2018. He pro debuted in March at their first event the night before Mikey fought Lipinitz in San Antonio. And then he fought another four additional times um, to finish off the year. So uh, here he is uh, in his RGBA gear, Team RGBA Garcia. If you want to follow him, he's at Aaron underscore Morales. That's with three S's at the end at Aaron underscore Morales. Ray Danger Murataya will be fighting on Prospects Collide 2.0. He is 6-0. He's from Fontana. An opponent to be determined. If you want to follow him, he's at Ray underscore Murataya 1. Brian Lua, a top-ranked fighter. 5-0, two knockouts. No update on him. If you want to follow him, he's at Brian underscore Lua. Ruben Rodriguez, 5-0, two knockouts. He has been moved very, very well. He was on the Porter Ugas uh, undercard where he got a five four round unanimous decision and he's scheduled to fight April 12th on the Loma card at Staples Center in LA. So um, very, very active. He's from India. He stopped fighting uh, in uh, through some of his teenage years, um, but he uh, got inspired again, it sounds like, by his brother who was ranked nationally uh, and, and uh, turned pro and has been moved to Team RGBA. So Ruben Rodriguez from Indio, California. If you want to follow him, he's at Ruben and R underscore. Green and B Fly Macias. Uh, it sounds like he will not be getting that rematch versus Giovanni Noriega. Giovanni suffered a loss uh, March 16th uh, at the uh, Florentine Gardens in Hollywood. So opponent to be determined. If you want to follow B Fly, he's at B underscore Fly 301. He's from Goodyear, Goodyear, Arizona, the Phoenix area. Green and B Fly Macias, 3 0, 2 knockouts. Robert Biggie Rodriguez improves to 3 0. He also got an opportunity to fight on the Mikey card versus Spence. He got a four round unanimous decision. Uh, if you want to follow him, he's at Biggie JR underscore, at Biggie Jr. underscore. Isaac Colunga, uh, there's continuous fundraisers going on for him. Um, there's been car washes. There's been. Uh, a raffle that will give away a 1970, uh, uh, I believe it's, uh, it was either a Caprice or an Impala. Uh, there's a, on my Instagram, I have posted a uh, seven on seven fundraiser for the winner, uh, th winning $1,000, all proceeds going to, um, to his GoFundMe uh, account. So prayers for Isaac Lunga, a fighter who uh, was the victim of a drive-by shooting and is currently paralyzed, cannot move his arms or his legs. Uh, because he's got a uh, a bullet lodged in his vertebrae. So uh, prayers for Isaac Colunga, a fighter from uh, Centennial High School, um, who is Team RGBA. If you want to follow him, he's at Team underscore Colunga. His mom, I believe, is Carrie Colunga, C-A-R-R-I-E. And then I also follow his aunt. I believe it's Shelly Shell, uh, S-H-E-L-L-Y, S-H-E-L-L. -L. So... 
uh, and I don't have his brother's um, Instagram memorized, but I think it's Gunny, G-U-N-N-I, and I don't know the rest. But uh, I stay close to, to his storyline. I'm doing uh, my part in order to spread the word so that we can continue to raise money to help him and to help his family. Manny Rodriguez here on the far right. Uh, you see him above Chepe Contreras. Uh, he's uh, Ruben Rodriguez's little brother. If you want to follow him, he's at Manny T-R-E. Alexis El Maciso Espino was originally uh, scheduled to fight April 26 uh, in, at the Forum where El Gallito Estrada was going to fight uh, Rungvisai. Um, so he's 1-0. and oh. He's uh, the only fighter uh, promoted by Eddie Hearn's Matchroom Boxing. Uh, so he's officially on the DAZN app as well, along with the guys from uh, Golden Boy Promotions. So if you want to follow Ex Alexis Espino, he's from Las Vegas, uh, at underscore Alexis Espino 1. Evan Sanchez there in the white behind B-Fly is a fighter from Parlier in Fresno County. Um, he's 3-0. He fights at 147. He's good friends with uh, Alexis Espino. And it sounds like his family will be running, along with Al Perez, the uh, <clears throat> Central Valley RGBA. If you want to follow him, he's at real Evan Sanchez. Jeremy Magic Hans Adorno, this is Joseph's little brother, uh, pro debuted on March 30th. Um, if you want to follow him, he's at Magic Hands underscore Jeremy. Anthony, the real too pretty Chavez, originally was uh, scheduled to fight on um, on Prospects Collide 2.0 when it was on the April 26th date, but he's not on the May 18th date on BoxRec, so I'll keep an eye out for him. At the real too pretty is his Instagram. Wesley Diana, seven and six knockouts. He is trained by uh, midway champion Fernando El Ferroz Vargas, so I just keep an eye on him. Uh, Fernando's a, 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 a team RGBA for life. At Wesley underscore Diana, if you want to follow him. Jose Maria Chema Delgado fought in Culiacán, Sinaloa. He improved to 2-0. and o. If you want to follow him, he's at E1 underscore Chema with double A at the end. At E1 underscore C-H-E-M-A-A, -A, Chema. So through the first quarter in 2019, uh, Team RGBA is 23-4-1. Uh, although you could consider a couple more fights out there that Robert helped in the corner. So technically it could be 25, four and one, but I'm, I'm gonna go with the safe bet of 23, four and one. He helped Josue Vargas, but Josue Vargas isn't technically an RGBA fighter. And he also helped another fighter that spars in his gym a lot um, from Vista, California, uh, Eric Puente. And Eric Puente fought on the same card as Eric De Leon. So Robert uh, being the trainer that he is, if, if, if he knows people and they ask him, then he's always willing to, to lend a hand. Also new to the team, Carlos Caballo Adames, a top-ranked fighter. He will be fighting on Crawford Khan. I don't know if officially he's on Team RGBA, but uh, he's, 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 at least he's fighting out of there for this fight is all we know of as of now. So uh, like I mentioned, they're on schedule to have over 100 wins in 2019. They had over 80 fights in 2018. They had eight title eight championship fights. And uh, only five losses and four draws. So, um, so like I mentioned, Team RGBA on schedule for 100 wins in 2019. So uh, I also want to give uh, photo credit uh, to the official photographer of Team RGBA, Cumbia, uh, at K-U-M-B-I-A-A underscore, and all the Instagram pages of the fighters, trainers, and managers who post updated pictures on their IGs uh, from the dads, from the Hector Tanajaras, seniors to Virgil Ortiz senior to uh, Papito Blessed Hands part of the Team Adorno um, everybody who updates like I mentioned in the beginning thanks to Alex Setback to to Rainbow Alexander to Frank Silva at Frantic One and to Cumbia for going on live and giving us all this uh, coverage for Team RGBA all I've, all I've done is compressed it into one video with their uh, with their with their fight dates and with their records as far as I could. Sometimes I you know I'm behind the ball and I get a, some and I get some typos and I and I'll forget a wind here or there. But uh, I do my best. So if you want to follow me, I'm Sontail Media on YouTube. You can follow me on Twitter at Sontail underscore Media. You can follow me on Instagram as well, Sontail underscore Media. Please like and subscribe, Sontail Media. More videos coming soon. Thanks.